If I could have experimented with colour this quickly as a teenager, I'd have saved a fortune on hair dye. Today though, this augmented reality tool is just one of the features available to customers, emo, rocker or otherwise, at the Amazon Salon in London. Yes, an Amazon hair salon. Now really the company's timing is perfect because I'm Nate Langson and today I badly need a haircut. Amazon's been on a bit of a brick-and-mortar expansion spree in Britain during the pandemic, opening cashierless grocery stores and, most recently, an outlet at a London shopping mall. But it's the 1,500-square-foot, two-floor hair salon that intrigued me most, primarily because, really, why is Amazon opening hair salons? On entry, I expected to be greeted by an Alexa-powered display, or at least a digital turnstile that connected to my Amazon app, as was the case at the company these grocery stores. But instead, I met Kelly, a lovely stylist with years of experience transforming the disheveled into the dashingly handsome. When you walk around Amazon's salon, much of it looks like you'd expect from a modern parlour. There are wash basins for shampooing and conditioning, free from any noticeable Amazon technology unless embroidered towels count. There are large mirrors and standard-issue blow-dryers and a range of products lining the shelves around the edge. Some differences can be spotted in the details, however. For instance, you don't take a product from the shelf to buy it. You scan its QR code with your Amazon app. On screen, information about the hairspray or serum is displayed, and you can order it for home delivery. Magazines are similarly digitized. Instead of a stack of printed issues to peruse at your seat, there are Amazon Kindle tablets, loaded with the latest editions of well-known titles. And most notably, instead of a verbal consultation about hair color creating an image of yourself in your mind's eye, there's an augmented reality-infused digital mirror to create one visually in your actual eye. What struck me about pretty much the entire rest of this experience was how non amazon it felt. In fact, how non-technical the whole thing seemed to be overall. I wasn't subjected to walls of TVs streaming only Amazon originals as I'd expected, nor did I hear a single stylist promote the virtues of a subscribe and save deal on extra strength sculpting wax. Even when I paid, I just used my own credit card as opposed to the Amazon Fresh grocery store where my bags of snacks was billed to my Amazon account. Instead, once in the chair, I just had a perfectly normal chat with my stylist. How often do you tend to get your hair cut? I tend to get my hair cut either when I look embarrassing or my wife shouts at me. Truthfully, <laughs> at the moment, there are three items on our kitchen to-do list under my name. One of them is sort my pension, one of them is make a will, and the other one is get a haircut. And no not, particular order? Well, it makes me think, what does she know that I don't? You know, she's gonna off me, but wants to make sure I look stylish it's when I die. You don't get a haircut, that's what it is. The experience led me to wonder what Amazon's goal here is, really. At the grocery store, I needed the company's app to even enter. I could buy a Kindle as well as cookies, and there was a delivery station for picking up or dropping off Amazon parcels. Cameras followed my every move to accurately tell what I was putting in my shopping bag. It felt very Amazon. The company's new four-star store in London, much like the dozens it operates in the US, lets shoppers try out Kindle and Echo products, pick up books and more, and Prime members get preferential pricing. It all makes sense. A hair salon, though. It's remarkable in how unremarkable it is compared to Amazon's other real-world experiences. The company says it's a testbed for technology such as augmented reality, or being able to learn about products using the app, which you might then later want to order for home delivery. But I'm keeping my eye on this one because as peculiar as an Amazon salon seems today, so too in the 90s was the idea that one day Amazon founder Jeff Bezos would end up sending Star Trek actor William Shatner into space. And yet, for Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson and I've been Technically Speaking. Well, what do you think? Not bad, eh?